Well, hell fired is Rock the Riff. Back with another Metalhead Envy. If I could speak. Another Metalhead Envy. And some more Bandmade. And so, y'all come out of the woodworks and got me on picking about solos. Which, I hope people didn't take it as me picking on solos. I just, uh, the guitarist in me wants longer solos. And uh, so, I was just reading through the comments. And one of Konami's better solos is Daydreaming. They also said, don't tell me, don't you tell me live. And this was from the Texas Veteran Patriot eight days ago. Just wanted to add order. Okay, I'm sorry. Rick Larson also said, just wanted to add order and order an older song with a long, longish Konami solo. And yes, yes, bandmate, don't, don't you tell me at the Zep. Live at Zep Tokyo is an absolutely must see. I'm surprised YouTube hasn't taken it down already. Check it out while you can. It's 100%. Fire emoji, devil horns, peace, heart, America, clapping, praying hands. And that comes from Robert Miranda. So I just went ahead and picked uh, the first one from Texas Veteran Patriot, uh, Daydreaming. So let's dive on in. Okay. Sounds like a piano and a guitar riff mixed together really well. I'm digging whatever's going on though. Now, I've compared them to anime before. This sounds like the ending of a show. It's like you just watched the... It's like on Hulu I watch anime and I get to the ending of the show. This sounds like what comes on on the ending credits. Okay. Yeah, that is smooth. Hell yeah. I don't ever really talk about it, but like, them two harmonize really well together vocally. I know I talk about Floor and Marco a lot from Nightwish, but the more I think about it, these two ladies, they're really good too. Especially in a studio setting like this. There we go. I like that little change up on the second verse right there. It's just, it's like a more of a, just a little extra flair. Just a little bit of extra sauce on it right there. I like that. i 
girl. Short, but sweet. I really dig that. And then y'all bring up, she always does a solo to fit the track. And that couldn't have been more evident in that solo. That fits this track so fucking well. I am digging this track so much. It's like, uh, I've already been aggravated. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. I've already got aggravated today because my PC was messing up. And so I've been fucking around with it for like four hours to get everything fixed so I can actually do these metalhead envies. And this whole track is just like kind of like uh, chilled me out because I still got uh, I still got three gaming videos to record after this. And I was kind of dreading it. But now I'm like I'm starting to get back into my Zen mode with this song. And then I think, if I remember right, y'all mentioned uh, that the bassist and the drummer have been playing together longer than everybody else. Like, they've just been, like, they're basically friends since real little playing together. And that is definitely evident. I, I'm i sitting here thinking out of all the bands I'm checking out here on YouTube, I can't think of a better bassist uh, drummer, drummer combination. Like, these two, those two ladies just... Oh, like the the whole section before the solo. I won't back it up. Because they were so on point together. All the little flare change-ups here and there, really good. Plus, I want to hear the solo again. Okay. Shredding out. Plus that little chicken picking right there was really cool. because I wanted to catch a good view of the guitar she's using. Come on. I wanted a close-up of it, damn it. I like this guitar a lot. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I like this one. She's playing better than the other one she has that uh, looks like a steel imprint or something. That's pretty cool, though. That and the location where they shot at. Like, what's funny is I've always, every time I travel a little bit, I'm trying to look for stuff like this. That way I can come back and shoot a music video there. I think the funniest place I ever shot a music video in was uh, this old rundown graveyard that hadn't been upkept for a long time. And I had to, it was a black metal project that I was doing with a buddy of mine. And that was one of the funniest days Funnest days I've had in a long time. I mean, we just put on makeup and wigs and all kinds of crazy shit. And he's out there just being stupid as I'll get out. But, <clears throat> cool location. You say fill my soul soul there at the end is there any more i'm always trying to catch it before it hits an ad but i did i cut a video early one time and they come out uh, i think it was a love bites video i did and people were like you missed the whole ass the end of the, of the, of the, of the, of the. i was like it's like man i mean i don't know i'm trying i'm still trying uh YouTube is still a hobby. Like, uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to get better at it every day. I 
put myself in front of a camera and preach my opinion here on uh, the internet. But this is a really cool song. I like the song a lot. It's a not. It was a nice change of pace up from what I have heard from Band Main, because I was starting to think they were just super punky, thrashy. Uh, I mean, y'all had mentioned people in comments had mentioned that they basically do everything, but from what I had heard from the last few, I was like, I think the punk rock, uh, balls to the wall sound is kind of their go to, but hearing this, like they definitely wrote a pop rock song. Like, I know for a fact I could sell the shit out of this song if it was in English. I mean, there's still the issue with people that won't give something a chance just because it's in a different language. And I really don't give a damn what language you sing in as long as your melody fits the track. And, uh, but that's such a catchy little song. That really is a catchy little song. All of them are doing good. Uh, that's a four horn track for sure. I definitely like the solo a little bit more than what I've heard from Konami in the past. Uh, I said Konami. Is that her name? I think that's what Texas Veteran said. Yeah, one of Konami's better solos. Thank you, Texas Veteran uh, Patriot, for the comment and the suggestion. I really dig this song. And I think I've ran my mouth enough. So with that, stay positive. Stay rocking. I'll catch y'all in the next one.